Tonight, a warning that could change the way you think about fire safety in your home. You might not have as much time to escape from a fire as you think. 12 News' Kent Wainscott is here with a 12 News investigation. Well, it may be true that where there's smoke, there's fire. But in your home where there's fire, there may not be any smoke, at least not the kind that you may think of. What you'll get instead is a thick cloud of toxic gases that could put you and your family at risk in an instant. Come here, hon. Like a lot of moms, Karen Kachura has practiced fire safety with her kids. The family has a plan so that six-year-old Jacob and his little sister Shay know what to do in an emergency. If we ever had a fire, we're supposed to meet out in the front of the house. But what the Kachuras didn't count on was the kind of fire they may have to deal with. That's because from the carpets to the countertops, their home, like millions of others, is filled with synthetic materials. There are chemicals in the furniture, in the appliances, even in the wood finish on the floors and cabinets. Deputy Chief Jesse Alba of the Waukesha Fire Department says that can pose a serious hazard for anyone in a fire. As plastics burn off three and four times faster than wood does, it's really shortening our escape time. And there's another concern. The synthetic materials not only speed up a fire, they also emit toxic fumes when they burn. As responders, we're well aware of the dangerous gases inside buildings, but I think as homeowners, sometimes we're not. Just look at this living room. Almost everything in it is made from synthetic materials. We have beautiful carpeting, beautiful furniture that will very quickly go up in flames. And that means in a fire, Karen and her family have less time to get out safely. I would have thought at least 10 or 15 minutes. And now? Uh, well, now I know I have a lot less time. Fire experts say that what many people don't realize is that when plastics or other synthetics burn, the smoke that fills a home isn't traditional smoke at all. It's literally a plume of flammable liquid. What we used to call smoke, I like to call gases now. The Chicago Fire Department, working with the world's leading fire safety experts at Underwriters Laboratories, conducted a study to show just how dangerous a modern house fire can be. The material, the plastics, burn so quick, um, rooms flash over, we're talking degrees of about 13, 1500 degrees. UL's smoke characterization study showed that in a living room with synthetic furniture, a small fire on a sofa can fill a room with toxic gases in less than two minutes and can quickly flash over, spreading flames throughout the home, potentially trapping anyone inside. The escape time for the average consumer is much less. 20 or 30 years ago, you had about 17 minutes after your smoke alarm went off, on average. Today, that 17 minutes has dropped to three or four minutes. So when your smoke alarm sounds, you don't have time to do anything except get yourself and your family out. And for families like the Keturahs, that means having a fire escape plan that not only will work, but will work quickly. I think we're going to probably uh, refresh that action plan a little bit. It's never been more important than it is right now. Now, obviously, you're not going to get rid of all of the synthetic materials in your home, but you can adapt your family's fire safety plan. The National Fire Protection Association recommends that you make a step-by-step -step escape plan. Practice it with your family at least twice a year and make it realistic. Pretend that some of the exits are blocked by fire or smoke and that the lights are out. And also practice alternative escape routes. And, of course, have working smoke detectors. And remember that there is no time to waste and you may not have as much time to escape as you think. All right, Kent. Thank you.